India's ambition to build its own bullet train, inspired by Japan's Shinkansen system, is progressing rapidly. Construction is well underway, encompassing impressive feats of engineering such as elevated viaducts and undersea tunnels. This endeavor is not only a testament to India's aspirations, but also has the potential to position the country as a global superpower. Furthermore, this bullet train project serves as a precursor to a nationwide network, signaling a new era of connectivity and progress. However, amidst concerns arising from incidents on the existing railway and setbacks encountered during this new venture, it begs the question of whether this pursuit aligns with India's current priorities or if there are more pressing matters that deserve attention. Considering the extensive history of the railway system established over 160 years ago. India's railway system, one of the oldest in the world, has faced significant challenges in terms of safety. Despite recent improvements, the number of railway-related accidents resulting in fatalities remains alarmingly high, making headlines globally. While accidents are unfortunately common, addressing this issue is crucial for the well-being of passengers. In June 2023, India witnessed one of its most devastating train disasters in history. A signaling failure in the state of Odisha resulted in a catastrophic collision and derailment of three trains. The incident claimed the lives of hundreds of people, leaving over a thousand others injured. This tragic event once again raises grave concerns about the safety of India's extensive and aging railway infrastructure. With a colossal rail network spanning nearly 70,000 kilometers, India holds the fourth position globally. Every year, India's massive railway network plays a crucial role in moving over a billion tons of freight and transporting more than 8 billion passengers. But getting around in India can be nothing short of a thrilling adventure. Not only do you have the option of traveling by train, but if you choose to hit the road instead, get ready to tackle India's infamous traffic, which can turn any journey into an adrenaline-pumping challenge. According to recent statistics, a growing number of individuals have turned to domestic flights as an alternative mode of transportation. However, for the millions of people who do not have this option available to them, the railway system continues to serve as a vital lifeline for the entire nation. India is currently undergoing a significant transformation in its rail network, aiming to upgrade it from its current state of inadequacy to a state-of-the-art system. The country has already embarked on a major endeavor, with substantial progress being made. The construction of India's first high-speed rail system is well underway, and its ultimate objective is to connect all of India's major cities. At present, there is a single line being constructed along the western edge of the country. The new railway route between Mumbai and Ahmedabad presents significant challenges due to its length of over 500 kilometers and its connection between two major economic and industrial hubs. This ambitious project involves the construction of 12 new stations along the route. In comparison to the existing railway, which takes approximately nine hours to travel between these cities, the bullet train aims to reduce the travel time to just two hours. With a top speed of almost 200 miles per hour, the bullet train will be more than twice as fast as India's current fastest railway. The trains on the new line are set to significantly reduce the journey time to approximately two hours. It is important to highlight that these state-of-the-art trains, known as Shinkansen trains, are the same models used on Japan's renowned railway network. Additionally, the signaling system and other crucial components will also be imported from Japan, emphasizing the high level of sophistication and innovation in this project. Japan's involvement in India's high-speed dream is truly remarkable. Not only are they providing massive funding, with loans reaching an astounding 650 billion yen, equivalent to over 4.5 billion USD, but they are also actively training Indian workers. Imagine the transformative power of this collaboration. Japan's expertise and financial support make them an exceptional partner to have on board. This strategic alliance is propelling India's bullet train project to new heights. India is not only focused on modernizing its railway system with faster and safer trains, but also on its goal of becoming a fully developed nation and a global superpower. Establishing a high-speed rail network 
that facilitates the efficient movement of people and goods across the country's major cities and regions would significantly contribute to this ambition. So how is this new railway actually being built? Especially when one end of the line is a huge, densely populated city of over 20 million people. Well, get ready for some incredible engineering marvels. About 92% of the track is going to be elevated on magnificent viaducts and breathtaking bridges, soaring high above rivers and existing infrastructure. Just imagine the sheer grandeur of this high-speed dream as it gracefully glides through the sky. Not only does this architectural wonder reduce the environmental impact, but it also makes it easier to acquire land for the railway. One of the notable engineering challenges that the high-speed bullet train project in India faces is the presence of a unique creek located in Let's, just east of Mumbai. Unlike the rest of the route, this section encounters a significant obstacle in the form of a large body of water. Instead of choosing an elevated approach, the project planners have opted for a more effective solution, the construction of an underground passage. This decision showcases their innovative approach in overcoming this particular obstacle. In a significant development, India is set to witness the creation of its first ever undersea rail tunnel. Spanning seven kilometers, this groundbreaking tunnel will have a total subterranean section of 21 kilometers. With a diameter of 13 meters, it will facilitate two trains traveling in opposite directions. The majority of the route will be excavated using tunnel boring machines, TBMs, with an innovative Austrian tunneling method employed for a five kilometer stretch. This project revolutionizes India's high-speed dream. A tunnel is first excavated using drilling and blasting before ground supports and reinforcements are added, followed by a concrete shell on top of a waterproof lining. It's ideal for shorter tunnel runs in varying ground conditions. Construction works on the projects are now over 30% complete, but it's not going to be finished until at least 2028. That's a long way from the original plan, which had a 2022 completion date. So what went wrong? Well, for one thing, sticking most of the track up on piers has helped speed up land acquisition, which is always a challenge when building railways, but it hasn't completely solved the problem. In early 2022, nearly all of the land in the state of Gujarat had been acquired by the government organization delivering the projects. But further down in the state of Maharashtra, it was only 75%. That was largely due to legal disputes with landowners. Today, the overall figure for both regions is almost 100%. But it's taken a lot longer to get to this stage than it was meant to. Another problem for the projects was a change of government in Maharashtra. Even when it's finished, it's going to have to be extremely popular with passengers in order to recover the money that's been invested into it. According to one estimate, that would mean 50 million people using the new line every year. There's also the question of whether the people in charge have got their priorities, rights. Should India really be focusing its efforts on a brand new high-speed railway when there are clearly major problems with its current infrastructure? Well, the national government thinks so. Its plan is for this to be just the start of a nationwide network. Feasibility studies have already been carried out on several more potential routes linking India's other major cities. They include Mumbai, New Delhi, Mumbai to Chennai, and New Delhi to Calcutta. It's an exciting prospect. However, considering the slow progress so far, the people of India are not getting too carried away just yet. As we have seen in other countries, the power of such infrastructure is immense it has been used to drive economic growth and propel development to new heights. India is on the brink of following in their footsteps with this new railway project, but there is still a long way to go. What are your thoughts on India's massive investments like this? Let us know in the comments down below, and we're excited to read. Thank you for watching. And just like always, we'll see you in the next video.